Welcome to News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for September 25th, 2019. We begin at Epcot, uh, where construction walls now fence the entire perimeter of the former Wonders of Life Pavilion, as well as the Universe of Energy. The walls originate over by Mission Space as they wrap around the entire surrounding area. The new black non-themed construction walls meet the popular Guardians of the Galaxy themed walls that previously wrapped around the attraction entrance area to what will be Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Only a small section of the themed construction wall remains at this point. Uh, of course, the uh, Wonders of Life Pavilion will become the Play Pavilion as well, and both of those are scheduled to open in 2021. So you may be staring at those walls for a while. The 27th annual Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival will take place from March 4th to June 1st, 2020. The Epcot Horticulture team has already begun plans to introduce a brand new Remy Topiary, the centerpiece of a new Ratatouille Garden in the France Pavilion. This delicious new garden will be planted with veggies using a ratatouille recipe. Of course, uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, the nearby attraction in France, is going to open in the summer of 2020. Disney has given a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the music for the new Epcot Forever Nighttime Spectacular, which will take guests on a journey through the, uh, through the years and into the future, uh, and that will debut on October 1st, 2019, as part of the transformation of the park. In the words of Disney Parks Live Entertainment show director Alan Brune, music is the soul of the show because music has been the soul of Epcot ever since it began. Well, we really didn't want the show to be the greatest hits. Not just, oh, remember this, remember this, remember this, but to give them a new and fresh spin. The attractions, each one has a theme song, and you hear that song and immediately you remember the feelings that you experienced when you rode that attraction and all the fun, all the joy quickly comes back when you hear that song. Over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Mickey's of Hollywood officially reopened after its massive overhaul, with the reopening slightly behind schedule, of course. One of the oldest storefronts at Disney's Hollywood Studios, the store closed back in May, and the store now features a refreshed interior with new flooring and an all-new red paint scheme on the walls, which may or may not eventually get wallpaper. We don't know yet. There's still a heavy emphasis on that old Art Deco Hollywood glam look, but with le much less hearkening back to the old film strips and classic animated shorts featuring Mickey Mouse. The store logo features aspects reminiscent of the new Disney's Hollywood Studios logo, and the actual contents of the merchandise available in the store hasn't changed much. Mickey's of Hollywood is still your go-to spot for a full range of Disney Parks merchandise. As guests prepare to step into the wacky world of the Mickey Mouse cartoon shorts next year in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Disney has shared a vague announcement that there's even more zany adventures coming to Hollywood Studios this spring. Joining the park's theater district will be a reimagined venue, the Mickey Shorts Theater. Uh, this will be replacing the uh, Star Wars Path of the Jedi show, which has been seasonal for a while, which is located next door to, for the first time in forever, a frozen sing-along celebration, also just across the way from the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular and the Backlot Express Restaurant. Uh, no exact opening date has been given for that. We don't know exactly what kind of Mickey Shorts they'll be showing, but it's coming. In a galaxy far, far away, a Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747 has seen its fuselage decorated with graphics from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Featuring a giant Millennium Falcon, this graphic is part of Disney's PR push for the theme land opening at Walt Disney World. The graphic is part of the advertisement of Virgin Holidays, the ultimate Virgin Holidays Star Wars experience. And if you're asking what that is, well, that takes off from the 15th through the 22nd of February 2020 on an exclusive themed Virgin Atlantic flight for just 455 passengers. That's pretty exciting. Disney's Animal Kingdom entertainment cuts continue as the dino rific dance party at Donald's Dino Bash was quietly canceled this week. Guests will still be able to meet the costume characters, but as it stands, there will no longer be any more dance parties with the characters and the live DJs. The long-awaited Jack Skellington Sipper that was advertised at the start of Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party season is now available at the Magic Kingdom at the Popcorn Carts in the Hub near Cinderella Castle. The Jack Skellington Sipper is $17 and is available while supplies last, and I, I still think it's really weird looking, but whatever. If you want it, get it. Canadian residents can now save 20% on a four-day or longer theme park ticket to Walt Disney World. 
Available on select dates on or before December 31st, 2020. The discount is valid on single park and park hopper tickets. The offer must be booked now through February 7th of 2020, and guests can call 407-939-6599 to combine this ticket offer with a stay at a Disney Resort hotel. Otherwise, guests can visit DisneyWorld.com to book that ticket offer. New character voice greetings have been installed at the elevators of Disney's Beach Club Resort. As you go from floor to floor, a different character in each elevator will read out the level. For second floor. Disney Springs has added some new Wonderfall flavors uh, with seasonal menu items at multiple locations. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar's uh, newest addition is the Charcuterie Pretzel and Brody's Deep Fried Brats and Sauerkraut. Meanwhile, Deluxe Burger has brought us some creative uh, burgers lately, including the newest Oktoberfest burger. You can check out reviews of all of these selections at WDWNT.com. Disney has announced that soon all of its major quick and table service restaurants will be serving plant-based options at Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort, along with a new plant-based menu icon coming to Disney dining locations. The green leaf icon will make it easier to find these creations on menus across the Disney parks. Walt Disney World Resort will launch the plant-based menu icon and introduce new options at all theme parks and resort hotels on October 1st at quick service locations and October 3rd at table service locations. Meanwhile, at Disneyland, the new menu icon and many new plant-based options are coming in spring of 2020. Disney is serving up delicious plant-based cuisine in their international parks as well as the Disney Cruise Line, but no word on when that little icon will appear there. Disney Parks will live stream a star-studded Star Wars merchandise reveal this Thursday ahead of Triple Force Friday on October 4th. The event will kick off a weekend countdown to Triple Force Friday when new products inspired by Star Wars stories will hit shelves worldwide, including a variety of Disney Parks exclusive items. Fans in Orlando and Anaheim will be able to experience October 4th midnight shopping at World of Disney and Disney Springs as well as Downtown Disney at the Disneyland Resort. Disney Springs will also feature midnight shopping at the Lego Store, along with Star Wars-themed food and beverage offerings and a Lego Star Wars Millennium Falcon Master Build event. Tokyo Disneyland is experiencing its own long-term version of Project Stardust, featuring new attractions coming next spring, long-term renovations like the upcoming six-month-long Cinderella Castle refurbishment and the reconstruction of its main entrance. And all of these are in preparation for the new Fantasyland expansion, as well as the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Well, another phase of the park's refresh was completed this week with the return of the classic Mickey Mouse head floral at the park's entrance, which you're looking at now. Good to see it back. Starting next spring, we'll be seeing the introduction of new Type C monorails on the Tokyo Disney Resort line. The current fleet has been in service since 2001, so this change is about on time for their service life. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Walt Disney World. The Oriental Land Company also stated that the entire fleet will be replaced by 2024, bringing an end to the current Type 10 monorails. How about that? In 18 years and you replace them. That seems about normal. In a surprising bit of news, Catherine Powell, president of the Western Region of Disney Parks, has left the Walt Disney Company. Powell was in charge of overseeing Disneyland, Walt Disney World, and Disneyland Paris. Her position has been eliminated, and now the presidents of each of the three resorts will report directly to Bob Chapek. The corporate shakeup continued, in fact, moments ago as we were recording the show, new presidents were announced for Disneyland and Walt Disney World resorts. Current Disneyland president Josh DeMauro will move to Walt Disney World to oversee that resort. Meanwhile, Rebecca Campbell, current head of Europe, Middle East, and the Africa segment of direct-to-consumer, will be promoted to the president of the Disneyland Resort. Head of Disneyland Paris will be handed off to Michael Colglazier, the current lead for parks in Asia. Meanwhile, George Caligridis, current president of Walt Disney World, will be promoted to president of Disney Segment Development and Enrichment. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow. And I'm going to go see if Bob Chapek threw anyone else under the bus for the attendance related to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. You never know. It could be breaking any second.